Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new, uh, we're here setting up uh, our new 2021 JL Rubicon um, to do some overlanding. And in a previous video, which I'll leave a link in the description, we installed the AEV two and a half inch uh, dual sport lip, lift. Uh, what that comes with also is uh, the Procal Snap. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to install that um, into the Jeep and what that allows us to do is calibrate the speedometer for the bigger tire sizes that we put on. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned and uh, we'll get right to it. So inside of the, the box, and like I said, again, this comes with your AEV two and a half inch dual sport lip, lift is the Procol Snap module itself. And that plugs into your OBD2 port. And then it also comes with um, a connection wire. So the JLs have a security system in it. And so you have to create a jumper between um, a junction box and the OBD2 port itself. And that junction box is located underneath the glove box. Um, and that uh, receives this uh, white plug. And on the other end of that terminal plug are... Uh, uh, two wires uh, that will go into uh, boxes one and nine in the OBD2 port. So it's a pretty simple install, and uh, we'll go ahead and go through those steps, and then we'll go ahead and program it. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get right to it. First step, take the glove box off. All right, the first step is to remove the glove box. Now, there are two things that you need to do. There is a retainment catch right there that you need to bend out of the way. And then on mine, there is a arm that connects uh, to keep the glove box. It's like a limiting strap. All you have to do is just pop that forward and it slides out. And then you can remove the glove box once you move this tab. All right, you can see that where that arm was um, and it just slides in and out as you move your glove box in. So here is the junction block that I was talking about earlier. And um, we're gonna take one end of the wire and plug it into any one of these ports. And so it doesn't matter which one you pick, uh, this is gonna be the one that we select. Now the instructions say um, to pull the carpet apart. And then take this bracket off to feed the wire across. But I found that you can, slide it across uh, pretty easily. So we'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're gonna just uncoil this wire. And like I said, um, this thing has got some orientation to it. So all you have to do is just, there's a little notch right here. And with this part facing you, it'll slide and it just clicks right in. And then from there, we're just gonna feed the wires And so here, all I'm going to do is just feed this underneath behind the console, and that'll tuck right up in there, and then just push the carpet back underneath the trim, and that's it. From there, you can just uh, reinstall the glove box. So it just slides back in to its pieces. Take the arm, extend it out all the way, push that back in, and then it just slides back in that same space. Push it back so it clicks in. All right, so if I got lucky, I'm gonna pull that apart. Oh, and there's my wire. So there's a harness right here. We'll just put a zip tie around that um, and uh, secure it tight. All right, the instructions say to pull this uh, panel off. So it's just held on by six clips. You don't need to use one of these tools, but it just, to me, it's easier than putting your fingers in there.
and you can see the six clips one of them popped off but it's one two three four five six now what that gives us access to is the obd2 port which is right here so in order to access this you just have to push the little tabs in and it'll just pop right out the back now this is where it gets a little tricky so the way that this is oriented um depending on what you have in your jeep uh, when you look at the back of this plug the way this is oriented it is this is row one through nine or one through eight and then on the top row is nine through 16. and what we need to do is we need to fill in we need to put the number one plug in this one and the number nine plug in that one so in order to access the um the pins you have to release the the catches and there's one on either side all i did was i just took a pick and you can hear it release itself so you have one which is the white wire and nine which is the blue and the white wire the flat side stays to the inside and uh, the catch side goes to the outside of the plug so we'll do number nine first You want to push that in as far as you can until you hear it click. And then number one. And then once they're in, you just press the, this, the mechanism back in. and then put it back in its cradle and that's it and that's really the hardest part of of the job i think so we'll tidy up these wires and then we'll get to the uh, uh calibration all right so to set this up we're gonna uh, push the start button twice and that should move the engine to run we're gonna plug the Procal snap in, and the next thing we're going to do is calibrate it. So, to calibrate it, uh, what we got to do is we're going to press the brake pedal and then we're going to hold the cruise control button until the horn beeps three times. So, now we're in the mode where we can set the speedometer uh, correctly. So, we click audio on the um screen you hit equalizer and then these are going to be how you set um your tire size and um the the instructions say to actually measure the physical tire size so mine uh we have the patagonia 315 7017s on here and so they measure with 33 pounds in them at 34.25 so what we're going to do is, this is already set to three, we're going to set that to four, and then we're just going to come back to two, and that's the closest. So we have 34 inches and, you know, almost a quarter. So from that point, uh, to set it, you put your foot back on the brake, and then you hit the set button for the cruise control, and you hold it till the horn beeps twice. And now you're uh, everything's set and you're good to go. All you have to do is remove the uh, AEV um, Procal snap. All right, guys. So that was a pretty easy install um, uh, to get the Procal snap to calibrate the um, vehicle to the tire size. 
uh, that you're looking for. So for us, it was 34 and a quarter inches based off of the true measurement, not the sidewall measurement or the advertised measurement, but what your tires actually measured at physically. All we did was you took a level and um, you know, measured that straight to the ground and that, that kind of gave us our height. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you have an AEV um, dual sport lift, uh, this ProCal Snap is going to come with you. Um, if you buy it on your own, again, uh, this will help you program it. It took, you know, maybe 20, 25 minutes just to kind of get everything put together. So pretty simple, easy to do. Um, and uh, you can do it right in your driveway like me. So again, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks.